All right, everyone, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! My name is Raven from the Sky, and let's do this. Remember, you must hear the afterlife was holographic back in the day. You guys remember that? I remember it took like two, two or three packs for me to get that back in 02. Oh, look at that. As soon as I played the head. Watch this. Good luck. Oh, you too, dude. You too. Good sportsman. I, I was expecting hate mail. Thank you, I like you. I'm not automatically condemned in your eyes because I'm using Exodia. But I will admit, this is the easier instant win deck that I've used so far. I've used the reptiles, I've used the gimmick puppets, and I've used the destiny board. All of those are instant win decks, but th th this is by far the easiest to run to me. I guess it's my build personally, but still. And boy, was it hard to get pull Exodia out of the Legend of Blue Eyes. I pulled the leg one time, and me, I was so dumbfounded. I didn't realize the rarity back then of, of cards. I was just, because one was shiny like the other, I would trade it, but I had traded it for the Black Illusion Ritual. You know the summon relinquish because it was holographic. And wasn't that dumb? <laughs> Oh my god. And I had an original piece of Exodia. I have an Exodia deck now, but I'll admit, it's not the original piece. It's the one that you get out of the Legendary Collection. Yugi's Legendary Collection is, is those. It's not the original. Oh, those are called, it's gonna cost you about 50 or 60 dollars. And you have to buy that off the internet. Cause they don't sell the box, the Legend of Blue Eyes box anymore. But like I was saying, um, the ratio to me was bad back then to pull hollows dude you had to buy like five packs and you might get one hollow that's how bad it could it, it, it could be for you they've changed it now i think you're guaranteed a, a super on ultra you're guaranteed one holographic a uh, a pack now which is really that's better than it was i think it's really good though. that's somewhat getting your money's worth i still think the packs are a little you know four dollars a pack two packs you you what at eight dollars that's pretty much a ten bill ten dollars ten dollars two two of those good god <laughs> Shoot. like i said four four packs four five packs you had twenty something dollars that's how much it was that's 45 cards out of that set but more than likely like now i you know i buy the singles off of um off of Amazon or um, those trusted sellers though you, you know sellers like Troll and Toad um, it's another one that I had bought cards from I, I remember Troll and Toad it's somebody else of course the, um, Konami officially they sell cards as well on, on Amazon I'm trying to think Not sponsored by the way, by any of those companies I mentioned. Just want to put that out there. Not sponsored. Just let that, that you know, you know, who I buy my cards from. Um, but yeah, whenever I do, I usually buy the singles for whatever deck I'm building. I don't sit up there and throw a bunch of money <laughs> into buying card packs. But if you are gonna buy a set, I'm not against it. Cause I still do that, but when I'm building a specific deck, I buy the single cards by themselves. That's what I'm saying. But like I was, if you're gonna buy a, a specific deck, I will go with buying the deck boxes. Save up the lump sum of, I think of deck boxes between 60 and 100 dollars. Not a deck box that you store your cards in. I'm sorry, uh, the, the uh, box of that series. 
like um, a series back in the day was called Invasion of Chaos. That's the name of the series of the booster packs. It's 25 packs in a box. The box will cost between 60 and 100 dollars. I'm sorry. The booster box. That's what I meant to say. Not the deck box. That's the, that's the box that you use to hold your deck of cards, protect them. Which I do recommend you buy those too. That and plastics. Don't be walking around here like it's the TV show with bear cards and the bear deck. And then your pocket. I did that. And it messed my whole deck up. I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm standing at the bus stop. Waiting on the school bus. Pouring down rain. I had an umbrella. No, I had a... Well, I, yeah, I had an umbrella. Still got soaked. That's how bad it was raining. Alright. Got the school. That whole deck. What's up? I mean, it, it just crazy. It was just nuts. Eventually, ended up replacing all those cards because I, you know, I kept buying cards uh, whenever I could. So they were expensive then, and expensive now. Icarus attack. I missed the timing. What? Dude, that was two pieces. That's game. Okay, that's 35, 13, 18. Dude, that's... That would have been game. Talking about I missed the timing. What kind of foolishness is that? But yeah. Good times, good times back in the day. Oh, of course. Well, yeah, it's game, all right. We're going to lose. 35, 18, 13, 18. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And the series grow, right? Don't get to ring that bell so you don't miss an upload. Peace.